question. One of your agenda items is to freeze property taxes. Uh, I've had some of our businesses, uh, frankly, that are very supportive of their local schools express a little concern out of that. But I know you've got not just a freeze, but a, a more comprehensive plan. Yeah. When, uh, I'd like you to speak to that. Yeah, so let's talk about this. Property taxes are our number one tax problem in Illinois. We, we have basically, we're tied with New Jersey, and I don't want to be tied with New Jersey on anything, but we're tied, we're tied with New Jersey on the highest property taxes in America. It's our number one most uncompetitive tax, and it's crushing to our working families, our homeowners. It's crushing. And a lot of small business owners have told me they moved to Tennessee or Texas because of our property taxes. They tell me this. I'm not making this up. It's a big deal. So we've got to deal with property taxes. And what I've said, to shock the system, I have supported a property tax freeze. Now, I'm open to announcing it, but then delaying it for two or three years to let, the, let everybody get ready for it. That's fine. But what the real answer to a long-term property tax relief is not just a freeze, it's to empower local communities to get control on their costs. That's the key. Because right now, we've got all these unfunded mandates, we have all these restrictions, and I believe each community and each school district should be able to decide the costs around outside contracting, construction costs, and con con construction bidding, and collective bargaining. It's not, and and people, when people say, oh, you're just right to work, it's not right to work. It has nothing to do with right to work. And when some people say to me, well, you're just, you're just um, trying to strip away collective bargaining. No, I'm not. I just want to do what Chicago has done and Massachusetts has done and others when it's necessary to protect taxpayers, give the ability for you and each community to take something out of collective bargaining if it's necessary. Chicago has done this for years, and when the Democratic supermajority says to me, Governor, you propose that, that's a violation of our core beliefs. Well, that's baloney. You've done it for Chicago for years. You've taken, you've taken uh, school day out of collective bargaining, length of school year out of collective bargaining, outside contracting out of collective bargaining, and right now the mayor has asked that the teacher's pension contribution get taken out of collective bargaining. Why does Chicago get that and Springfield doesn't get that? Decatur doesn't get that. Peoria doesn't get that. What's, what's going on? It's not fair. We should treat everybody the same in Illinois. 